Welcome to Luxon Photography. Um, I've decided to show you a little bit how I edit as a 10,000 subscriber special, a 10k special. So uh, we are here now in Adobe Lightroom and I was in Düsseldorf taking pictures on the streets of strangers and I took altogether 11,000 images and I've made a selection of 3,700 and how I edit these images, on the left you see the original on the right you see uh, the edited one, that how it looks right now. And what does that mean? It means I have edited one image from all of these 3000. I have edited one and copied that edit to all images. And now what I have to do is I just have to uh, change, make small changes. So I usually just change the brightness I usually just make it a little bit softer here on the head. I straighten the horizon and that is it. And you see now in real time how I edit any image. This can be a real estate image, this can be a wedding photograph, or it can be a portrait shoot, or it can be just people on the streets like here in Düsseldorf. The idea was to photograph 101 people on one weekend, which we got. And now it's time to edit them. Everybody gets all images for free. I pay for it and I'm glad to pay for it because it's important to me. It's a project that I wanted to do and I chose a weekend to do it, not accept any wedding in it, and then did it. And I did it to be proud of myself. This is totally non-profit. It's a cost factor. It cost me a couple of thousand euros to do this project, but it I, I, I gain in character and that's important to me. Okay, so this is how I edit these images and I will not go through them again. I won't touch, once I go through it, I won't touch these images again. So, um, I took these images with the 50mm 1.2 on the Canon 60 Mark II, just if you're curious which camera I used. Um, and we filmed all shootings, so you will find the videos probably on my YouTube channel in the following month or weeks. Um, but I thought, let me show you how I edit. There are many people who ask me sometimes how I edit, how quickly do I edit, and in this video I think it's a great uh, great way to show you actually how I do edit a photo shoot and how quickly it can be done. Now, there are many ways to edit images. You can take a lot of time for one image or you can do it very quickly. Uh, I usually take images that look really nice uh, unedited already, so I always feel I don't have to edit anything. Uh, I just do it out of uh, habit and to give it a, my own style. And just sometimes it's just a horizon, maybe there's too much headroom, so I, this is the headroom here, it's too much white space. So I just make this a little bit smaller. Um, but usually it's not much that I have to do. And yeah, you can just follow me here just for a couple more minutes. Uh, let me just edit a couple more shots so you really get a feeling of how quickly you can do it. So what you see now is I made a preset you can use any preset you can create your own you can buy some there are many people who sell presets and then um, just make small changes to the images copy all the changes to copy the preset to all images and then go through every image and it takes about one to two seconds to get the image right usually it's very rarely that uh, um, if you take 10 seconds for an image it's very long um, in my experience okay now you 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 can't photograph pe people in Düsseldorf on the Königsallee one of the most expensive streets in Germany you can't do it without photographing a couple of cars I'm not a car guy but for this project, photographing 100 people on the streets of Düsseldorf, I also wanted to portray the city. That's why I nearly got my goal. I started on Friday with no one in the beginning, and the next day I already had 94 people photographed. So on Sunday I had a lot of time to photograph the city. 
So I went to different parts of the city to make photos of the cities. And on Saturday, because Saturday is always full with expensive cars in Düsseldorf, uh, I thought, when I see a nice car, let me just take a picture of it. You see, I edit these images very quickly. I take these images very quickly. It doesn't Photography doesn't need much time. Photography doesn't need to be something um, th that really need, needs much time. It just needs energy and a workflow. And you see my workflow. There's some buttons that I push on every image, like doing the horizon, making it brighter or darker. That is what I do to every image. And this way I can edit very, very quickly. Um, and it's a really joy. You know, I have now 3,700 3, images to edit. Uh, every single image I will edit. And I know it's going to cost me less than a day. It's now 11 in the morning. And I will have finished all these images when Anna comes home from work, which is 2 o'clock. Uh, and then I have the time with her. And, uh, and while we do stuff, the images get exported. Okay, so again, uh, I take a look. Do I like the image? Is the color right? Is it too, too, uh, too yellow? Might be a little bit too yellow. Okay, then I copy all the changes to all these images, synchronize, and then I go through every single image and just make small changes. Make, make the horizon right, just make it a little bit softer on the head here, on the forehead. Uh, it's always nice for the females to make it a little bit softer. I use this, uh, this brush tool. Maybe make a little bit less headroom. Headroom is the, the space above the head. And when there's empty space and the people are at the bottom part of the image. So for example, an image like this doesn't work. There's way too much headroom and the people are cut off somehow. Uh, this is headroom. And I try not to have too much space above here. Okay, maybe do a, a vignette. Copy it to all the coming images. Now all the images I've selected here now have a small vignette, which is here. And I maybe just so we don't see the hand. So for me, photography is, uh, is it's all about emotions. It's what gives me the greatest feeling. That's why I do it. I don't do it to make money. Uh, it is my job, but it's also my passion. And when I have free time, I will take pictures. It's, um, it's just what I love to do. It was, gives me the greatest feeling. If I think about what I can do with my time, taking pictures, especially of people who then value these images, uh, that gives me a great feeling. Uh, if you ask me if I would like to go on a on a on, on the beach, and you know with a book or you know have a drink, uh, that is not interesting to me. Now I can go on a beach with a camera and then photograph people on the on the beach. That would that is interesting for me. But uh, just comfort is gets boring. When I'm on the beach for ten minutes, uh, I'm bored and I'm I'm looking for stuff to do. And when I have a camera, I will take pictures. It's, it's what I love to do, and I'm honest enough to myself to make room for this. I make room for photography every day. I chose it as my job. I did not learn it. I have a degree in insurance, and I studied economics at university. I studied for six and a half years, and I made the decision to leave my degree in the envelope it came and never ever have, it, have to rely on a piece of paper for a career. I put my heart into my career. So I don't let a piece of paper, a degree, decide how much I make. I let my heart decide. And the more I do with my heart, the more I make. Photographing 100 people on the streets is, a thousand, is, is thousands of euros. Uh, is what I make with it. But this time I made it all for free. I paid for it because it's important to me. And it's a philosophy that I don't see so many people actually follow and I feel really great uh, from Monday to Sunday every day I never have the feeling I work even I if I do very much I made 11,000 images and usually on a weekend I take more images than that if I have weddings I get to 10,000 images for one wedding alone 
If I have a wedding on Saturday and on Friday, that's 16, 17,000 images. So usually on a wedding, I take more images. Now this weekend did cost a lot of energy because I had to talk a lot to many people. To photograph 100 people on the streets, I had to talk to at least to 185. So that 80 can say no and 100 can say yes. That's success is a numbers game. Anything that you want to accomplish is a number. You want to have a six pack, just start right now doing 500 sit-ups a day. And in six months, you will look different than you looked yesterday. It's a simple numbers game. If I want to make money with photography on the streets without anything, without a website, without Facebook, without a following, starting right today or tomorrow, I can do this on the streets and all I need is the number of people I talk to. There's a ratio. Some people will say, yes, you can take pictures and I will buy them if I like them. Some people will say, no, I don't trust you. I don't know what you will do with these images. That is the core. When, people, when someone tells me, no, I don't have time, I'm sorry, it means I didn't get their trust. When people say, you know what, uh, I love to do this, but uh, I have a meeting, uh, this is no this is an excuse i didn't get their trust it's always trust when they get the trust and they get the trust that you can take beautiful images of them they will say yes when you when when you don't get their trust they will make an excuse i don't have time i'm not looking good uh, it's always if somebody says no it's always because of me i wasn't good enough presenting what i wanted with wanted to do with them so you now see how quickly I edit so just uh, I don't know how, how long how long is the video now so from this image to the first image which was this we've now edited 105 images look at how long this video is I don't know three four five minutes we have now edited 105 images and they are done I will not touch them I will not touch them again they, these are done. So 100 images in these uh, three to five, three, four, five, six minutes. I don't know the time now. And I have what? How many to go? Maybe 2,000. So the last. So I have 1,800 pictures to go. Um, and you've seen how I edit them. I edit them very, very quickly. I can go into any image here and edit it very, very quickly. And uh, this is the way I do it. It's my 10,000K special. Just to give you an inspiration, if you are very slow to edit or insecure. So when I started editing, I was very insecure. How do I edit? How do I get the images so they look like they are from the same photographer? How do I make it that the images look like they're, they're from the same day and they have the same look? There's a feeling to it and they all feel like they are from the same moment. So these images should look like they are all photographed on the same weekend. This is important to me. So you see it's a series. And you see I can go into any image here. It doesn't matter which day it was taken or um, how it looked like. And I can edit it super, super quickly. And yeah, I think that's it. You get an idea of how I edit, how quickly I edit, how the images left is unedited. I think the left image looks really nice, uh, but I edited the right image now looks a little bit too yellow, uh, a little bit too warm, and this is how I then would edit it like this. This is now finished. Next one, we can just take another one of her. This one, just like this, make it a little bit more smooth, make a small vignette, maybe a little bit colder, and that's finished. Next one, too much headroom, put the headroom away like this, a little bit like this, a little bit more contrast, finished. Next one, what did we have here, maybe this one or that one. So you see how I, how I edit these. I take images very, very quickly and I edit with the same speed. I took these images as quickly as I edit now and I do these videos to uh, inspire. I don't have to do it for me. I already know everything I tell you here. Everything you see now is for me past, and uh, but it might inspire someone. Okay, yeah, I think that's that's it. And if you want to learn how to photograph people on the streets, it's uh, it's very easy and it's really joyful. 
and I have created a video course and I put the link in the description below. Uh, in the course I show you exactly what you need to photograph people on the streets beginning from I'm afraid to talk to strangers up to how, how do they buy the images, uh, how can they buy it without me sending any email, without uh, any kind of administrational work. I use an automated system so they can buy the images without me having to do anything. And in the course I explain everything. You see over 1000 videos, it's the biggest YouTube channel in photography on YouTube according to a number of videos, 1300 videos, and most of them are real photo shoots. So you, there's a lot of inspiration for you if you want to see how quickly you can get an image like this with anybody on the streets, on any street, at any day, with any weather. Uh, sometimes it rains. Let me just take a look. Um, and it's always, it's totally fine. Rain is, uh, is always part of the image and it's, it's, never, it's never something negative. Now it can rain heavily, like here. This was also on the weekend. There were parts where it was raining like this and there were parts where it was all okay. But uh, it's just part of the process. I embrace any kind of weather. It's always a positive thing for the image. So the first day, the Friday, was actually a, a rainy day and uh, let me just take a look so there, there are many images uh, where, it, where it was raining it, not very much but but always a little bit and you see people walking around with with umbrellas and um, maybe here so you see there's rain a little bit people have umbrellas and it's not really nice the weather is not really nice but you don't see it in the image anyway. You never see the weather in the image. Uh, it's always part of the image, but it's never something negative. It's always a positive thing. So that was it. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, see you soon.